Hey Tutu, where are you going? I'm going to the Well, it's so awesome that you came. Thank you. We had to come, right? Why did you come? Um, I came because um, I represent my ohana. Who's your ohana? The Ikuas. And if they were here today, they would be here. Thank you.
Love you, sis. Mahalo, Tutu. Hi. You look so happy. I am. Mahalo. <laughs> hey, Che, baby. Hello. How are you feeling? It's 1872, and David Kalakaua, not yet crowned, not yet anointed or king, pens a song at the request of Kamehameha V. Lota Kapuaiva, Hawaii Ponoi. A new national anthem, a new symbol of strength, a new promise to the Kanakamauli of Kalakaua's generation that like those before, they will stand and fight for their right to noho aupuni today. We call this resistance back then, we just called it pono. Hawaii pono i nana i komo i kalani ali i ke ali so as Kalakawa writes, we sing of a generation of Maka Ainana and Mo'i who gave their fierce bodies for this legacy. We sing and we remember we are the sons and daughters of Po, the deepest, darkest, most creative forces of this world. We sing and we remember Umiali Loa, Kihapi Ilani Manono, Ke Kua Kalani Hawaiians, who practiced strength, resiliency, and resistance knowing that no human power was so supreme that it could not or should not be overturned when unjust Kalakawa writes and remembers an older Kmemeha. Koi keuli, thundering. Ua mau keo kaina i kapono. Kalakawa holds that declaration in his evi and pushes it through his melodies like we have been taught to hold it in our bloodline and cradle it on our tongues, keep it sacred and safe from the poison fingertips of this fake state because it's 1893. An overthrown kingdom, a nation in distress, and Ellen ke ho'ohivo kaleni right prendigras feeds her generation rocks of resistance, pens us the melodic reminder of our genealogy of protest and Kalua i Ko'olau and Pi'ilani run through the brush at Kalalau on Kauai. Their steps are heavy but precise because they realize the weight of a generation's oppression shrouding their shoulders. They realize the power from which they resist when they refuse to be wrongfully imprisoned by his sickness. So when Pi'ilani buries him, it is her tears that return his body and rifle to dust his generation's ihe and answer strapped across his bare chest pointing back to Kalakawa's call to protect this legacy. <laughs> so 
So now it's 1895. Over 300 men led by Robert Wilcox take cover in the Pohaku above Le Ahi. With rifles armed, with gunpowder, and Aloha Aina, untrained soldiers give their lives for Hawaii. Although these are not the call of the key pu'upu'u reign of Waimea, they are only the last physical defense of a people who know in their na'o that laying down to the opposition is not an option. Though they are not malo, not ihe, not ma'a, they are the kawa who answer kala kawa's call. And now it's 1898. And America's physical power seems to be a muscle that cannot be matched. Our kupuna take to the greatest weapon of a new time, pen and paper. Because of them, our kupuna's names remain scratched into a new kind of stone, painting the picture of a strong, unified people, a nation whose love for Aina and Lahui could not be buried under joint resolution. Hawaii ponoi, na na ina li na pua muli ko na poki. Now it's 1976. After almost six decades of mourning, nine young Kanaka Maoli galvanized by the resistance to Kalama Valley evictions, they land on the island of Koho'olawe, Kohemala Malama'o Kanaloa. They have come to heal an island torn by the bombs of someone else's war for someone else's security on that day. The Protect Koho'olawe Ohana reignite a practice of Aloha Aina so powerful it defeated the U.S. military. Aye. But between March 6th and 7th of 1977, George Helm and Kimo Mitchell, two members of the Protect Koho'olawe Ohana, were taken. Their sacrifice reminds us what we must be willing to offer back to our Lahui, that sometimes we do not return on our own two feet, sometimes we are only the song, the faint memory of a sweet melody, sometimes we are just the mo'olelo for the next generation to carry. And carry we have. In 1993, 100 years after the illegal overthrow of our queen, 10,000 of us Kanaka gathered at this palace and heard a brilliant Manawahine Haunani K. Trask proclaim, no. repeat after me, we are not American. We are not American. We are not American. We will die as Hawaiians. We will never be American. So those of us who remain have the kuleana their lessons laced into the backbone of our practice so that they shall never be forgotten. This is our genealogy of protests written from the memory of past promises on March 29, 2015. Aloha'ina of this generation ascended our sacred Mauna Awakea. They have stayed through the night protecting our sacred people on the front lines and in the courtrooms ever since. Their sacrifice confirms resistance as a Hawaiian tradition. Ai pohaku, as fundamental to our story as hula and oli, this is the true mo'olalo of Hawaii, of new roots sprouting from old seeds, e na po'eo Hawaii. Oni pa'a in this resistance, knowing that Chirku Puna, George Helm, Kimo Mitchell, Robert Wilcox, Kalua i Ko'ola, Upi'i Lani, Lili'u Kalani, Kalakawa, and the hundreds and thousands who joined with them would stand with our young brothers and sisters between any aina and any desecration. We stand on their shoulders today when we insist on a better future. We honor their names. So come, sing with us. Know that when you do, you are joined by the hundreds and thousands who sang these stories before you know in your na'o that this is the way we rise. <laughs> Oh.
to us when they came here to take her to prison. She sent a message to all her people on all the islands and that message was Onipa'a Kako. As Auntie Ku has instructed, Onipa'a Kako. All Hawaiian Nakoa know the meaning of this. All Hawaiian warriors know the meaning of Onipa'a Kako. A battle command given on the field in the time of war by the Ali'inui telling us to stand fast when you are on the battlefield and you hear that call Onipa'a Kako. It means you hold the line. You do not retreat when set upon, you fall where you are standing. Onipa kako means that you do not give quarter. You advance against your enemy. You do not give quarter. After 125 years, we demonstrate our resilience. We are here to Onipa kako. <laughs> I'm 